welcome or welcome back to the channel i'm artsy this is our development series we meet here every sunday at 11 a.m to discuss the latest happenings in montego bay jamaica and around the world and guess what sometimes i'll surprise you with bonus videos during the week if you're interested in these types of videos don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe now let's get into it number one there's a new improvement in store for montego bay's elegant corridor what is that you ask well robin russell president of the jamaica hotel and tourism association jhta welcomes the upgrade and takeover of the streetlights in montego bay by the jamaica public service company jps Russell is pleased with the resolution of the lighting issue, which had been a concern for many road users. But what was the cause of these damaged light fixtures? Unfortunately, there are many collisions on this stretch of road. I remember traveling in a taxi earlier in the year when a driver was complaining about the damaged lighting infrastructure and defects in sections of the road being the real cause of the traffic accidents in the area, rather than just fast driving by road users. The NWA National Works Agency will rehabilitate the lighting infrastructure along the corridor after which the JPS will take over responsibility of all the street lights in the area. This move enhances safety and addresses the problem of insufficient lighting. The agreement extends to other areas as well. The signing of the contract transfers ownership and responsibility for street lighting infrastructure from the government to JPS, covering both current and future installations. What do you think of this new development? Long overdue? Well, that is not the only traffic upgrade that is in store for St. James. Number two, Montego Bay St. James is in for a traffic transformation. You see, Montego Bay has been plagued by congestion, prompting the Montego Bay Bypass Project. But while that's in progress, drivers have been taking detours around the city center via roads on the outskirts like Iron Shore, Dr. Horace Chang Boulevard, Middle Road, and more. The National Works Agency, NWA, is about to unveil four new traffic signals this Friday. Well, last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Friday gone. These signals strategically placed at key intersections like Middle Road and Felicity Roadway, Felicity and Sun Valley Road, Felicity and Salt Spring Road, and Salt Spring Road and Vernon's Drive. They aim to cut congestion and ramp up safety. But there's more. The NWA isn't just stopping at signals. They're jazzing up the roads with fresh markings, signs, and even rehabilitating outskirt roads to help commuters escape the snarl. A traffic twist on the horizon too. Middle Road in Norwood St. James is going one way, heading northbound to the Jamaica Defense Force Barracks in Norwood. And get ready for smoother traffic flow. Now for another development in a different type of traveling. The thing is, I believe that some Jamaicans might be a bit wary of this particular development. Number three, starting September 1st, Jamaica is rolling out a brand new digital entry requirement for all travelers. Donovan White, Jamaica's Director of Tourism, excitedly shared, your arrival in Jamaica just got a whole lot smoother. This mandatory online passenger decoration is designed to streamline the entry process for everyone entering the country, with the added bonus of reducing wait times at both immigration and customs. While travelers have the flexibility to complete the form before their departure during their flight or upon arrival, officials strongly recommend getting it done in advance. This groundbreaking initiative marks a first in the Caribbean community, aiming to speed up passenger and luggage processing at Jamaica's international airports while setting a digitization precedent for the entire higher region. Unveiled back in July 2019, the online passenger declaration 
C5 platform was a collaborative effort between Jamaica's Passport Immigration and Citizen Agency, PICA, and the Jamaican Customs Agency. Now, number five, the influx of increasing tourism arrivals, the expanding tourism infrastructure, and the resulting increase in new tourism workers flocking to the western city and tourism capital of Jamaica, Montego Bay, has led to increased housing needs. How is this going to be addressed? Well, the government, led by Minister of Tourism, Honorable Edmund Bartlett is swiftly addressing the housing needs of the growing number of tourist workers flocking to the resort area. At a town hall meeting in Montego Bay's Harmony Beach Park on August 31st, Mr. Bartlett announced 4,000 housing solutions for tourism employees in Western Jamaica, focusing on Montego Bay. He emphasized the importance of this issue given the rapid influx of workers and the expanding hotel industry. Notable allocations include 800 units in Edmund Ridge and infrastructure for 535 families in Grange Pen. Additionally, 1,900 beneficiaries have been identified and 1,250 new houses will be built in Greenfields by the Housing Agency of Jamaica on 352 acres of land. Jamaica's allure for tourists has led to significant growth in the tourism sector, particularly in Montego Bay and Falmouth. However, the surge in tourism workers has strained housing resources. Furthermore, Jamaica will be highlighted as a model at the United Nations World Tourism Organization meeting in Saudi Arabia on September 27th, showcasing its investments in human capital and workforce training. Jamaica emerged as the ultimate victor, seizing a treasure trove of accolades at the 2023 World Travel Awards, Caribbean and America's Gala. The event, a glittering spectacle, held on the 26th of August in St. Lucia, witnessed Jamaica's triumph as it clinched over 30 prestigious awards. For an astonishing 17th year running, Jamaica was crowned the Caribbean's leading destination, a testament to its unwavering allure. Not to be outdone, the Jamaica Tourist Board achieved an unprecedented feat, securing the Caribbean's leading tourism board award for the remarkable 15th consecutive year. In a display of its maritime prowess, Jamaica also sailed to victory as the Caribbean's leading cruise destination of 2023. These are but a few of the numerous accolades that grace Jamaica's triumphant night. What do you think about these developments? Share your thoughts below and like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to learn more about developments in Montego Bay, check out this playlist. Bye.